here we have a Zenith D720P from 1959. It's a table radio. It's FM only. There's no AM band on this. This was a recent eBay acquisition and we're going to test it out here for the first time. I haven't even plugged it in yet. So we will run the cord down into the isolation transformer as I do with all my radios. All Whenever I work on a radio, I always have it into an isolation transformer uh, just to be on the safe side. Don't want to be direct, uh, directly connected to the house current, if at all possible. So let's uh, turn this on. This is a tube radio, again from 1959. And as the old saying goes, she's a runner. It's got a little bit of a hum in it, so we might change the uh, might change the electrolytics in it. And whenever you get a radio that a lot of people would think a tube radio like this with just a very low hum, which the camera may or may not be picking up, I think it's normal, and it's not. Um, Any time a, a radio hums, that's an indication of a problem. They're not supposed to hum. They didn't come from the factory like that. They aren't supposed to do it now and uh, nine times out of ten it's bad electrolytics that need to be changed out so now, like I said we got a tube radio here antenna and ground connections are on the bottom of course tube layout Zenith was getting real big into FM in the late 50s like its big brother back here was one of the first uh, FM radios, I believe, with uh, automatic frequency control, AFC. So let's. This is my transmitter upstairs. I have a little transmitter, like you saw in the uh, video for the airline there with the WNBC air check playing. More music up next at Pulse 96.7. Tell me what's your title? America has no more stars. Now we call them idols. You said idols. While we teach... Management at Fam Funds in Pearl Carroll Golf Ball Drop to benefit family and child service of Schenectady. Will be held on Friday... Uh, I thank you very much. Uh, Harry Tucker, my beloved technician, we've worked here, man and boy, for a year or so, I guess. Thank you, Harry. And all, you know, the, the technician... Oh, that one's, uh, we got a worker here, so won't take too much. We're going to take it apart here, and uh, when we return, we'll take a look at the inside, make sure the tubes are tight, make sure there's nothing burning up in it, check the wiring, and just give it a, pre a little, little check here, and uh, we'll get it fixed up. Near here, here, North River TV. Okay, we're back, and one of the things I wanted to show real quick, the chassis just kind of slides back in under here. This is a full chassis, by the way. Um, 6D01 is the chassis number. Uh, but I, I was impressed just by the overall construction. The knobs have little back and have little rings, lock rings behind them, so they don't fall out. Um, just an attention to detail. One of the things we did notice is this, uh, which goes right here, is heat shield, which which attaches to the top of the cabinet right here, which had fallen down. So it's a good thing because this is foil, and we don't know if this would have ever, probably wouldn't have done much, but just the potential to short something out so we'll glue that back to the back to the top of the uh, cabinet here to protect it from heat obviously uh, but like I said it's these attentions to detail that you wouldn't see today they wouldn't bother putting this in that would you know it's three cents that they could save on the construction of this particular unit 
um, the little screen. I don't know if you can see in there the screen over the louvers to keep stuff out of the radio. Little details, you know, of attention and construction like that. Just make Zenith stuff and generally American made products from the 50s and the 60s just absolutely superior. Um, has all its original tubes, so it's never been apart, and I can attest to that, seeing how difficult it was to get it apart. Just did not want to come, didn't want to break loose. It's nothing really holding it, it was just kind of stuck. Uh, so we will check it out for any bad caps or any caps that we might be able to change. Okay, there's one thing I wanted to share with you here. As we see, the heat shield has been glued back into place. I almost got rid of this. Uh, it's basically a piece of foil lined asbestos is what it is. I wasn't expecting that to come in a radio, but it being the 1950s, and asbestos was quite popular back then for using for uh, uh, insulating hot surfaces, of course, we know asbestos to be a carcinogen, causes mesothelioma in the lungs. You really get, it's really not good to inhale as dust in any way. Uh, but uh, I was pretty careful. I went, uh, I went up and washed up pretty good after this. I've had a fair exposure to asbestos already, so I'm not good. This doesn't concern me personally too much, but I uh, just wanted to show you. We have that glued back in. We just use uh, uh, 3M Super Strength Adhesive and just let it set up for a few minutes. And that's that. All right, we got it back together and warmed up. clean tone. Even got a little bit of bass to it from that small little speaker which that that's uh, that's all we have for you. The Zenith uh, D720P here on North River TV. you